Investigators call it the largest coordinated computer sting operation in the state with a focus on our area. Authorities have made 17 arrests because of this and more could be on the way. Now it's all part of a three day effort called Operation Black Veil. And this morning, authorities spoke at the Brown County Sheriff's Department outlining exactly how this sting went down. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has our story. According to the criminal complaints, investigators placed online ads. The officers posed as parents offering their children for casual encounters and more. We had multiple undercover officers working 16 hours a day going, going on the internet and um, attempting to locate people who would abuse children. In the three-day sting, investigators say 500 contacts were made online. The undercover investigators were working, all those suspects working to identify all those individuals that had interest and continued working the ones that, you know, had more um, maybe interest than others and were going to cross that line. In all, 17 people were arrested from around the state including eight individuals from Northeast Wisconsin. Charges and recommended charges include using a computer to facilitate a sex crime, child enticement, and trafficking of a child. The men range in age from 21 to 65. Authorities say it's difficult to profile a would-be sex offender. It could be anybody, um, a close friend, family member. Um, you just don't know you know, what's lurking behind a computer and, and what some people are willing to do. We didn't have any victims that we had to investigate. We, we were able to take them into custody before we had another victim in our community. Authorities say 100 officers from 15 agencies worked on Operation Black Veil. Plans for future sting operations are in the works. Authorities say they already have a warning. You guys will be out there, but in Wisconsin and most notably in northeast Wisconsin where this operation started, um, we'll, we'll be out there looking for you. In Bellevue, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News.